a track, pick a time Any day is fine Pack a bag, say you do Let's sail off me and you on another adventure Where are we at? What are we doing? So we found a random, random beach on the way to the anchorage and thought, well, we might be thirsty. Might just take a little jump and a drink and go get a beer or two and pop back in to the uh, Cadillac oh. here. Like you do. <laughs> yeah. That's totally normal. Exactly. We are uh, buzzing from there to there. And there's a little local pub here. So we just anchored to run in and grab a beer. A black sand beach. Black sand. the dry stuff. Don't fall in, Jelly! <laughs> We've got the boat secure, we think. We hope. We hope. We hope. No another adventure out there. We hope she's secure. And we're going in. At this cute little bar called Shipwrecked, we found happy people, some good advice, and some really simplified plumbing. The 2P! Like one cut right here between the beak, which you'll see pop out, and then the eyeballs. And then your beak fella, see it there? You flip it back around, and literally is a bird's beak looking thing. How crazy is that? See it? Yeah. it feels just like Whoa, a beak. Like a beak. Bye -bye. And then, all by reach hand. in here, this is all by hand. And there's actually two pieces of cartridge up here, but to get the middle out, you can just separate the two by sliding your hand right there, and you separate the two pieces of cartridge. And the rest of everything you don't want, we'll pull out with the head. There's one more piece of cartridge in here. This is actually easier to get, I think, after you get the wings off. So the wings and the skin and everything is right there. And you get it and you pinch between the two. You'll feel it separating. You can get the skin. And those wings. Part, everything just peels away, and then the skin is gone. And you have that guy, and there's one more piece of cartilage in there, right here. And you have to get your finger down in there and get it behind like a wing. And once you're behind that little wing on the inside, you can push out and around the hard part on the outside. Out. Ah, there it is. All right. Well, we got it. Wow. And then your little calamars are good. You have those two dummy dudes and your little squid tentacles. We've been commandeered. We now have a Captain Pete. This is our Nevis captain. He's gonna show us the cool things to be shown. Whoa, I'm going up front? All right. Port side. What are we going to see, Captain Pete? Oh, we're gonna go see plants. <laughs> Word on the water is, the Botanical Gardens Rainforest Conservatory is really the place to be. Some say it's what all the buzz is about. It's here in real life. It's a real thing.
and our captain has led us to our destination. Here at the Botanical Garden in Nevis. Have a little bite to eat and then go check that out. Hello. There's a flower in my drink. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Cheers. To the purple rain, purple rain. <laughs> Don't be this guy. You're an asshole. If you're this guy, you're an asshole. We got animals. Do not feed the parrots. That's not a parrot. What are you? Look at him looking at you. Hello. Of course. Hello. Pretty girl. Hello. Oh. Hello. Pretty girl. Oh, are you cool? Do you like that? Hey guys, there's a volcano right there. With a major eruption in 97 that destroyed two thirds of the island, including the capital city of Plymouth, lava sightings as recent as 2006, and volcanic sulfur plumes still coming from the peaks today, this is said to be one of the most monitored volcanoes in the entire world. Everything below this red line is the exclusion zone. It covers more than half of the island, is off limits to the public, and strictly enforced due to volcanic activity. We anchor in Little Harbor on the northwest side of the island and try to find a tour guide to go in and see what is left of this powerful little rock. The next morning I woke up to an unexpected surprise. With a helicopter on us. So we're in Montserrat and I just heard a funny noise. And it looks like my EPIRB has activated itself. Nothing has been pulled. I'm uh, calling the Coast Guard to report down. this. Yes, sir. Hi, ma'am. Uh, we have the Coast Guard Rescue Coordination Center from Miami on the line. If you want to go ahead and pass your report to them, they're, uh, they'll be able to help you. And that night, just like last year, we built a campfire on Rendezvous Beach, invited everyone from the Anchorage to enjoy the sunset and watched one of the most beautiful moonrises. New friends, old friends, and way too much of this. What are we doing? Uh, we are hung <laughs> over. Oh, we are hung over, but what? We are doing a good job just to be walking to go get our ride to do an island go. tour. Nice. We're going on another adventure. <laughs> Feeling crappy or not, here we come. <laughs> this adventure brought to you by Ibuprofen. <laughs> Look at that! Access granted. Woo! Oh, man. Wow. Our first stop is to the highest point on the north side to get an epic view of the island. Did you like a cigarette after that? Oh, or something? Yeah. <laughs> a stiff drink. A stiff drink. Kai, if you look up, you get all really dizzy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, with the clouds going by. It's a very vertigo feeling. Wow. That road is intense. That's awesome. <laughs> This was a. This was the uh, where the old airport was. So, just before um, the pyroclastic and the rest of it came down, 15 minutes before the governor was the last air aircraft to get out. 15 wow. minutes before that, wow. and it just wiped out and devastated the whole of the airport. So you wouldn't have seen half of this land. So it was really right on the actual um, the water park. Mm. Um, it went across this side. So. The dome collapse would have happened, you can just make out where some slight part of it was on the outside and it would have just wiped straight through. So this is the Bellum Valley. So the Bellum Valley used to have a river running through. Mm -hmm. And then what happened is the volcano went off and then everything just spewed all the way down here. So the house just on the opposite side of here used to be a three-story house. Now you can only see the top part of a small part of the roof. The rest of it is still underneath the ground. Wow. Where? Which one? Is that that right there? Yep, that one just there. So this is the top story of a three-story building. And as we can see, the ground is outside right here. That's volcanic buildup. This is inside the bathtub. This is actual volcano stuff. Whoa, this is nuts. This is nuts! Wow. There's the stairs to go down. But you can't go anywhere. Where are we at, Captain? We are at the Montserrat Springs Hotel. Don't ask me if it was four or five. It's one of them. <laughs> Probably not anymore. <sighs> So this is the main entrance. Now it's a zero star. As we uh, move through it, when we come back, feel free to peruse the gift shop. <laughs> Get your souvenirs here, folks. Step uh, right up. There's like the old vaults and stuff like that where they try to like break open the vaults. Wow. It's just volcano ash everywhere. Just wild. The Montserrat Springs Hotel is one of the closest establishments to the exclusion zone still accessible by public today. And you can tell as you walk around through feet of packed down volcanic soot just how thick the air here after the eruption could have been. That's actually the top of the toilet here where we're standing. There's the bathtub. International Hotel Travel Chain Report from April 1997. Mm -hmm. Look at the book. 97, that's when the volcano. Great. Yeah. Yep. You can just see. It's blasted with the volcano stuff. It's just deteriorated into that. Unreal. Feeling fine, catch a fish, maybe two. Let's sail off, me and you, on another adventure. On another adventure. Let's sail off, me and you, on another adventure.